Don't you know that you're a grown up? Hello and welcome to Gen X A to Z. I'm John. In this series, we're looking at the top toys and games of Generation X. And in this episode, A is for Atari 2600. The 2600 or VCS is much more than a game console, but is a touchstone for so many folks like me who were lucky enough to grow up just as it hit the market. The 2600, released September 11th, 1977, popularized the concept of a home game console with interchangeable ROM cartridges and moreover is the granddaddy of the home video game market. Originally selling for $199 with two controllers and the combat game cart, the 2600 made its way into millions of homes, including mine. Despite its rudimentary chipset, clever programmers pushed the console well beyond anything for which it was ever intended with varying results. This meant we got games like Pitfall and Yars Revenge, as well as clunkers like Karate and Pac-Man. I spent many, many afternoons, nights, and weekends blowing up tanks and hunting chalices in the soft glow of that monolithic wood grain CRT hooked up to my Atari 2600. Despite its age, the love for this platform is still strong today, with new homebrew games being produced and our beloved VCS lending its name to a new console slated to release mid-2019. With its unmistakable single-button joystick controller and checkered history punctuating the rise and fall of a video game titan, Atari has more than earned its place on our list of the top toys and games of Generation X. And that's why A is for Atari 2600. Don't miss the rest of this A to Z series. Click right here to subscribe and enable those notifications. Use the comments down below to tell us what you think, and while you're there, a thumbs up would be great too. Please share this online wherever you hang out, and connect with GXG on social networks by clicking right here.